What's up guys? Welcome back to Raising the Rogers Homestead. So today is uh, kind of a bittersweet day, but it's something that's gonna be necessary for us. As most of you know, right now we have five cows in total. We have our two steers, our two jerseys, and then a Jersey Angus cross. Well, today we are loading up the Jersey Angus cross. She's no longer gonna be with us, so we got to get her loaded. The person picking her, picking her up just pulled up. So we'll get the camera set up and get everybody separated. Get them out of here. All right, we got her loaded up. <sighs> kind of, uh, like I said, it's kind of a bittersweet moment, but I don't know if you guys remember or not, but Bay tried to run my wife over. We can't really control her that well. The only way we would be able to control her is if I invested, you know, thousands of dollars, uh, to have some actual heavy duty panels, uh, an actual head shoot and stuff like that. And I'm just, I don't need to invest that much money in one cow that we don't plan on milking. Uh, I mean, it, it, she would have a calf for us, uh, but we don't plan on milking her. We don't plan on doing really anything with her except for her having a calf. And uh, so, Actually, one of my buddies uh, purchased her. Uh, he uh, he has a, a real big farm that, that she can be on and she can be around other cows that are just like her. All they do is have calves. They don't milk or anything like that. Uh, but uh, I think, I mean, I think she'll, she'll raise a good calf. She is part Jersey, so she will have uh, good milk numbers. So it's just part of it sometimes. Uh, I just can't, I don't have the facilities uh, or the patience really uh, for a cow that I can't put a halter on, I can't hook a lead rope to, that I can't make do what I need it to do uh, without thousands of dollars in, uh, in gates and, you know, fencing and head shoots and everything else. But it's part of it. Uh, I kind of hate it, but it is what it is. But anyway, we're going to pick this up a little bit and I'm going to get started on this shelter here in just a little bit. Uh, I've got to go get hay. I've got to go get feed. So it's going to be a pretty full day. I don't know how much I'll actually get done on the shelter, but I'm going to try. All right, we're back at it today after a couple of days of uh, 
dreary rain. I mean, it literally just rain, 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 which I'm thankful for the rain, but I wish it would come in smaller spurts. Now everything's a mess. But anyway, we're gonna keep trucking along on this, uh, on this project. So I gotta finish taking this thing apart. The door actually just fell off of it. So at least that much is done. All right, I think that's about all I'm gonna get done tonight. I still gotta frame up the uh, the thing for the uh, uh, the milking stanchion. I had to do quite a bit of work on this thing to get it round and square uh, like I like it. These are panels that we had on some other shelters and they were uh, pretty cattywampus, but I've got them on there as good as I can anyway. I don't think there's anything else I can do to make them any more square, so. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm actually gonna use this old door, this right here. That actually come out of a, uh, a hundred year old barn. I help, uh, I helped a buddy tear down a barn and I'm actually gonna incorporate that and use that on the back. I thought that'd be kind of cool, so. Anyway, if, uh, if I do anything tonight, I might frame out where the, uh, uh, where the milking stage is going, but we got to feed and we still got to milk. So I'm gonna get to that. All right, so I was able to actually work on this a little bit during the week. Uh, by the time we got done feeding and um, got done milking and everything, it was already dark. So I worked on it a little bit in the dark, a little bit at a time. I've still got some stuff to do, but I was gonna show you what I got done so far. All right, I got the head shoot done. I think, anyway. So, basically, you got this bolt up here at the top. Take the bolt out. That drops down. She can come in. Close it back. Drop the bolt back in. And then I got this feeder. So, the feeder. I got an eye bolt up at the top to put this rope on. So once we get done feeding, or done milking rather, this right here will drop down. And then I'm gonna put a bungee cord or something over it just to keep it out of the way since this is gonna be the calf area. But once you, before we get her in here, all we gotta do is hang this up, put feed in it, and then she could, should come right in. My intention is to finish it today. We've got some pretty nasty weather coming in tomorrow evening. So I hope to get this done today or at least to where it's almost done. I've still got to put a cattle panel across there uh, to keep the calf from being able to come on both sides so we can actually close her in. Got to hang the door on the back, do a little bit of sanding and stuff. So there's not a ton left, but I'm gonna set up the time lapse here so uh, I can get started on that. All 
All right, got the door on, got the cattle panel in. So I got a separation now between the front and the back. And then obviously got the door on. Pretty excited about using that door. Uh, I know it's kind of unconventional to use something that's that old on something like this, but I'm pretty excited about it. So now I'm gonna go get the tarp and then see if we can't get it on. And then uh, it's gonna take me a little time to button all that up. Once I get it buttoned up, then, uh, then we'll be pretty close to done. I'll have to put the lights in it and things like that. Uh, we still got to get Bell in here and make sure that I've got the rope and everything in the right spot. But other than that, I think we are almost done. All right, kind of late, but uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, got the lights put in here. I know it's super dark, but got the lights put in here. The uh, the solar panels that are right here for them, uh, they just, they haven't had enough sun yet. But hey, that that is, uh, that's pretty much done. I'll tell you what I'll do. We're gonna post this video and the next video, I'm gonna do like a full blown walkthrough of the entire thing. So make sure to check that out. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by today. If you could like this video, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate it a lot. And until next time, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.